Hey, Ciprian. So, you don't understand what I'm doing? Okay, well, rather than trying to explain it in type, I'm going to just show you. So, in my post, I said, copy your text, run the macro, examine the variables panel in key, keyboard maestro preferences, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's do that. Here's your data, ready to be copied. Here's the macro, which I've cleaned up. I removed the first variable where I was setting it to the clipboard because it was not necessary. Uh, and uh, this thing's ready to go. So uh, for demonstration's uh, sake, we're going to bring up the keyboard maestro preferences and the variable preferences. We're going to search for VAR underscore. Now these are previous test variables, so I'm going to delete those. Now, I'm going to go back to your data, copy it to the clipboard, and now I'm going to run the macro. So I run the macro, and you can see dynamically I created a new variable for each line that was on the clipboard. One through five, two, three, four, five. Okay, now it's up to you to decide what to do with that. Uh, now, as for how the macro works, uh, I am setting the counter. This for each action is a loop. This variable here corresponds to the line, the current line on the clipboard, which you can think of as the top line. So through in the first run through, it will process line one and the second run through it will process line two and the third run through it will process line three so here i am assigning a value to my counter or actually i'm iterating it from zero to one uh, on the first run uh, and it will subsequently iterate uh, each time the loop goes through it's orange at this moment, uh, which means that it's invalid because there is no uh, value for this variable. So if I try that action and I assign zero to the variable, this suddenly becomes available to Keyboard Maestro. It sees it. Therefore, it's now showing you a preview of what will happen on the first run through of the action. So it will become one. Now in this action, I am setting a dynamically named variable with a prefix of text var underscore to uh, text var underscore and then appending that counter to it so that it becomes text var underscore one in the first run, text var underscore two on the second run, etc. And on each run, it is assigning the value of the given line, which we initially get here, to the dynamically created variable. Okay, so we go through that for every line that's in the clipboard, and then in this AppleScript action, I am deleting the incidental variables uh, so that they uh, don't get in the way later. Uh, you have to decide what you're going to do with these. Um, see, that exists because I just created it with a try and uh, have not run the macro to delete it. So I will delete it manually. So now, what are we gonna do with these? Uh, you're gonna have to tell us. Uh, you, I think, need to provide a more comprehensive uh, outline of what your actual workflow is so that we can make better decisions about how to help you. I guess that's it for now. Talk to you later.